Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Stephanie Bree and uh, I am a transgender woman who talks about random stuff. This is my channel and this is my vlog. And today I've got some videos for you. Starting with this one, where I'm going to be unboxing and talking about this WrestleMania Bray Wyatt The Fiend action figure. I got this um, on Sunday, just a couple of days after uh, Bray Wyatt passed away in real life. And one of the reasons why I wanted The Fiend specifically versus regular Bray Wyatt was because two reasons. The first reason I wanted a, a Fiend was because I'm a horror fan. And, excuse me. The Fiend is a horror character. Bray Wyatt was a fan of horror. And his character, his persona, his whole shtick was very, gave off horror vibes. So I really was drawn to the character, The Fiend. The second reason why I wanted The Fiend was because he gave a definitive ending to The Fiend when he was destroyed um, a couple years ago. They, they wrapped that storyline up. And so we got closure on that storyline. We're not going to get closure on some of the other stuff. He was doing unfortunately because he passed away but at least we did get closure on that so i'm going to start off with um looking at the back here see we've got drew mcintyre we've got ricochet and andrade i don't know who andrade is i've never seen him wrestle or if i have i don't remember him uh but i have seen ricochet wrestle and obviously drew mcintyre um so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and we'll talk about the figure itself. So it is now open. It's no longer a collectible. Well, it still is, but it's no longer a mint and package collectible. So let's go ahead and pop it out of the plastic. And there it is. So let's go ahead and look at the figure. He's really big, really bulky. I'm going to show you for a size comparison. I have another wrestling figure here. If I can find it, where did it go? Oh, there it is. This is a 1998 WWF uh, Jax Pacific Vince McMahon. So if you look at the size comparison, you know, he towers over this Vince McMahon figure. He's like two whole heads taller than him. And this is a bulky figure by itself. This is like a He-Man class figure. Masters of the Universe size. This is one of those big six inch figures. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, articulation. He bends here at the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists. His legs come up. They don't move this way, but they do come forward. He bends at the knee a little bit, but he's real stiff. And then his feet do not move. His head does turn. His head does turn. But let's look, go ahead and look at the uh, details here. First of all, you got the dreadlocks. Look at that. That's good detailing. Look at the face. Look at the tattoo right here. You can see his tattoo. And uh, the vest does come off. I, I do believe it does come off. But I'm not going to take it off because I imagine it's going to be hard to put it back on. And he's wearing his standard pants and boots and gloves that you would expect. A lot of detailing on this figure. It's a really good figure. And it even has his pudge. The guy was overweight. You know? He really was. So, you can see he is a massive man. Now, I never got to see Bray Wyatt or The Fiend in person, but my girlfriend did, and she said he was huge in person. So, he was a massive man. Just big, bulky guy. So, um, this is going to go in my toy collection, and uh, we're going to have matches. He's, one of his first matches is going to be in the SmackDown ring against the aforementioned Vince McMahon. I'll probably videotape that for y'all, uh, because I want to bring back Toy Theater. And uh, we'll see. Anyways, that's all I have on this uh, figure, so check out my other videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Stay cool.